Former NFL running back Eric Dickerson said, you're supposed to be tough. You're supposed to play through pain, but playing through headache pain is different from playing through pain below the neck. Brain pain is a critical warning sign that needs to be taken seriously even in its mildest form. Concussions can happen to any athlete, but in particular, females and younger athletes are at greater risk because of their unique neck musculature. Most athletes get better within two weeks following a sports concussion, but many don't. Ongoing symptoms, including headaches, nausea, dizziness, experiencing a brain fog, and sensitivity to light require medical attention. Here at Weill Cornell Medical College, we are actively pursuing research to identify the most accurate indicators of brain injury. But unfortunately, right now, there are no reliable methods for diagnosing or predicting the outcomes of concussion. Our research team is collecting novel high-definition brain images and neurocognitive assessments. We're also pioneering the use of computerized eye tracking, which could be applied on the sidelines to better diagnose concussion. If you're a parent, coach, or allied healthcare professional, please consider donating to advance our research program and help our team raise awareness of sports-related traumatic brain injury. If you are a student athlete, please consider participating in our research, where by establishing your pre-concussive baseline, we can look for changes in brain function that might result from a concussion. We need to identify those athletes who have sustained a brain injury that puts them at risk for ongoing symptoms and who might benefit the most from early identification and treatment. With your donations, time, and support, we hope to make great advancements in the understanding of concussion. Your participation is essential in helping us meet our goals. And please remember, when in doubt, sit it out. For more information, contact us at stbi at med.cornell.edu.